Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash Entitled Parents. In today's episode, Son's father is a real piece of work. My dad's mistress offered me a job, should I take it? Entitled GMIL doesn't know boundaries. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Son's father is a real piece of work. Cast, me equals me, 35F, son equals S, 11M, entitled X equals E, 50M. In April 2015, E informed me that he couldn't pay child support anymore for a while. I had a good job and didn't really need it, so, knowing he'd eventually have to pay it off, I told him fine. It was no problem. A week later, I ended up in the hospital and ended up getting my leg amputated. I was in there until June and my sick days were running out, even though the kind people at my work had donated some of their sick days to me. A spaghetti dinner fundraiser was held while I was still in the hospital and my mom took care of my son and my finances. By August I was struggling, I couldn't work. He took S, his half-brother and mom, his current wife and his mom and grandma. All to Disney World in Florida from Michigan, in what I'm pretty sure is an expensive trip. In September, he wanted to take them all, except his mom and grandma this time, camping to a KOA campground, which isn't cheap either. At this point, we were barely surviving, going to food banks while both he and his wife were driving trucks cross-country making a decent wage. But he couldn't pay child support and I still had a year before I'd hear from Social Security Disability. Even S could see our struggle and knew his dad wasn't paying so right before the camping trip, he called EE. Let me mention that this call was all my son's idea. I had no idea he was doing it. S hey dad, why don't you take us somewhere cheaper to camp and you can pay some child support to help us? EE I've already paid for this site. Don't you want to go camping with you brother? For context, while EE lived 40 minutes away, my son's brother lived two hours away. S, but we really need help here and obviously you have the money. E, well, if you don't want to come then we'll just have fun with your brother without you. He was getting angry at this point. S, getting upset, that's not what I said. E, still angry, we'll just go without you. S, starting to cry and getting angry himself, but that's not. E, e yup. We'll have fun in the water park nearby and you won't be there. S, really angry now that E wouldn't listen, that's not what I said. E, e hung up on him and refused to talk to him, even on his birthday. After two months, he tried to call and S talk to him for a moment but refused to visit in retaliation. They were fine for a while but E is currently doing the ignoring thing again even though S is 16 now and he quite possibly could lose him. I have a few more stories about him but that fact that E, e could treat S this way upsets both him and me. That's it for this one. Edit thank you all for your kind thoughts and words. For those talking about child support. Yes, we did go to court and yes, he's now paying. Thank you for the advice. Thanks also for the upvotes and awards. I really appreciate them. Can't answer all the comments, but I'm trying to say least read them. Why is this man such a piece of crap? Truthfully, I'm not sure. His oldest has already disowned him and moved to another state to get away as soon as he could. He just expects things to go his way. Did he ever pay the child support? He is paying now as his work is now in state and it's being taken out automatically. My kid's dad is also 15 years older than me and he's probably the worst and most grossly entitled person I've ever met. I feel your pain. I am closer to his oldest son's age, who's 10 years younger than me. But thank you. And I feel your pain. Why don't you go to court to get the child support? He has to pay it so this would be resolving the problem. He's paying now thank you. It's being taken automatically from his new job. Sometime in the future. 
Dad, son, I'm dying. Please visit me. Son, F off and die, for all care. You're nothing to me. My dad's mistress offered me a job, should I take it? So, I 20 female am a full-time student and am currently seeking a part-time job. The problem is that most places that I have applied to only want full-time workers so my dad's mistress who owns a business offered to provide me with a job where I will not have to travel for work and will make a decent amount almost full-time pay for the same job at a different company. The issue is my dad's mistress and my mom hates her to the point where she sees her as a villain I know if I work there my mom will treat me differently because I have worked with her before and it was one of the worst times for my mental health because my mom will curse me all the time to the point I was suicidal. She says she ruined her family but my dad was always a cheater and she claims to not have an issue with him having other women however she has an issue with this one I have no issues with her because I was raised around the idea of her meaning I was at her home every evening after school. She registered me for middle school and she was always in my life from around 3 to 4 hence she is like a second mother to me same for my younger sister that is 5 as she took care of my sister when my mom was off. Maternity leave. All this to say that it has always been a part of my life however my mom hates her and will hate me if I take the job so should I take it in common will not pay for the stuff I like she would ask me to ask my dad and I don't like to ask him because he already paying my school fees. Stop letting your mom use you to punish your father and your stepmother. Take the job. If your mother gives you a hard time, avoid her until she gets over it. Can't avoid someone I live with but thank you. I personally would only take a job like this if it could advance me so that I could get another job somewhere else soon. It will cause a lot of drama but that is your mom's issue for her to work through and you may need to boundary her. Probably worth giving your mom heads up rather than surprising her and it would be kind to give her the reasons you are doing this and it will also give your mother an option to find an alternative or come up with something else that would make sense. If your mother cares that much and also cares about you, she will find a way to help you. This might mean finding a better job for you or giving you more financial support. Otto, if she is just thinking about herself, she will just be mean and try to force you to not take the job. You will know what she is either way. Entitled GMIL doesn't know boundaries. Honestly, this woman has been a roller coaster, we'll call her Eggmill. I'm in the military along with my husband, we both live 2,000 plus miles from his family. Recently, we visited, and Eggmill is going to say that our eight month old can stay with her and she'll bring her back in a week. I told her hell no, and she told me to watch my mouth. Honestly this woman lets her great-nephew, who is five, stand up in the car with no seatbelt and sees no issue with this. She's tried to loosen the straps of my child's car seat because she thought they were too tight. She calls me any random name but my actual name. She talks about giving my child random foods, my child was a preemie and has stomach issues. She'll open the door to our car when we're getting ready to drive off. She doesn't like it when anyone tells her no and just goes, I'm just playing. Please send help. Stop letting her near your child. Try to make decisions for my child again and see what that mouth says then. Go ahead, I dare you. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.